Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. I'm making this message especially for the DA and the ANC. Firstly, to the DA, the leading party in the Western Cape, I want to make it very clear. Everyone who stands for justice and everyone who stands against apartheid recognizes the international laws being broken, the war crimes being committed by Israel against the people of Palestine, especially those in Gaza, but also those in the West Bank. The entire world population has risen and has stated not in our name, free, free Palestine. And at the same time, you've seen many, many condemnations for what took place on the 7th of October. So if those alleged uh, acts took place, then that is absolutely not in conformity with Islam and that should not have taken place. And we too would condemn the negative actions, whatever they may be. And we don't claim to know because the only source of information currently about that is the IDF, which is an apartheid regime. So that that's already biased. But we say to you, the DA, you have very quickly stepped up on the 7th of October or thereafter and stated your condemnation of Hamas, your condemnation of an uh, act of terror because of the lives that were lost. But to date, you have remained deadly silent on the more than 8,000, close to 9,000 Palestinian lives that were taken only in Gaza and the more than 100 lives that were taken in the West Bank where there is no Hamas, where there is no Palestinian resistance fighting like they are in Gaza. You have remained silent. You have not voiced your condemnation against the acts of terror, even though the UN, the United Nations, have expressly stated that the incidents on the 7th of October did not take place in a vacuum and they condemned the occupation. And you did not condemn the occupation. You have supported an apartheid regime that is recognized as such by humanitarian organizations such as Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International and Beit Salim. You have supported an apartheid despite the history that we have here in South Africa of apartheid. That means that should you become the leading national governing body here in South Africa, you may institutionalize a similar policy. And for that, we will not stand. And I want you to understand this very, very clearly, that you don't have a single vote of anyone who has an iota of justice in their hearts because the eyes may be blind, but the hearts are open and we have hearts and we feel for what is happening and we can easily distinguish between right and wrong. So shame on you, DA. We expect a statement. We expect a statement yesterday because you have you haven't even given that much you haven't even given as much as a condolence a word of condolence and for all the muslim politicians associated with the da it is your time to speak up but now we need you to voice your opinion and then i want to address the anc as well and i firstly want to start out by making it very clear that we thank you for taking a position very early that you stand with the palestinian people and that you stand with hamas and that you understand the liberation struggle that they are going through and you've expressed this when other governments of the world fail to do even uh, something remotely close to that so we appreciate it and we thank you for it but mr Cyril ramaphosa and the anc government words are not enough you have done nothing as far as I'm concerned to make a genuine effort towards helping that cause that you claim to be in support of. You have not institutionalized sanctions. You have not formally called for boycotts. You have not cut diplomatic relations. You have not sent home the ambassador. You continue to let uh, people from South Africa join the IDF and fight in the atrocious crimes and war crimes that they are exerting on our people over there. And I'm afraid that that is not sufficient. So we are displeased with your governing and your decision as well. And I'm afraid that that will not change. And no uh, march of solidarity or any show of support will change when you have the power to make those changes yourself. It makes no sense to me. And I just want to make myself very clear in that regard. But understand that God is watching us and God and history will record every single action that we take in these precious moments when the lives of innocent children are being taken. But this gives us no reason whatsoever to sit back and just watch them die, to sit back and just allow this apartheid regime to go on. Please make a change and make it now. It is not time for speaking any longer. It's time for action. Let us be on the right side of history. Let us be on the right side of justice. Thank you very much for listening. Assalamu alaikum.